This is a saw blade made entirely of glass. Yes, that is as stupid as it sounds. However, with some duct tape, some redneck ingenuity, and a little true grit, I was able to prevent it from exploding just long enough to actually cut wood. You see, I'm on a quest to create the world's very first super saw blade, and I intend on giving every material a fair chance, no matter how dangerous. Our journey began in our last video when we attempted to make a wooden saw blade, but the problem with that is that wood is about the same hardness as wood, and therefore the blade was much better at starting fires than it was at cutting. So today we'll climb aboard the Mohs Hardness Scale Express, leaving Wood City and arriving at Glass Central Station. Now glass has the hardness we need, but will it have the durability? We intend to find out. I'm going to start out with some normal glass that's about a quarter inch thick. We still have this laying around from when we made stretchy glass, but first we need a design for the water jet to cut. Want to design me a saw blade? Uh. Gonna have to start calling you Tracy. Shut up. You gotta find the perfect distance to do this. I want you to know that. <sighs> I will give you a chocolate bar. Will you actually? Yes. All right, deal. Where's my chocolate bar, Daniel? Okay. You are a goon. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> that's some funny looking glass. Oh yeah, that's because it's rubber. We need some rubber washers because the standard metal ones would shatter the glass. Are you seeing what I'm, I'm seeing? I'm, what, what you looking at, bro? <laughs> please don't shatter. Yeah, please just stay in one good whole piece. That is looking good. That's wild looking at the cut from the side. Yeah. It's like slowly eroding it, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's still, it has like almost like a smooth finish. Now I don't know about you guys, but I normally don't like it when shards of glass fly at me at high speeds. So I'm going to make something to prevent me from dying. Hey Craig, can I use all your Lexan? Uh, well sure, yeah, just grab anything you need. This is Lexan. It's a type of polycarbonate that is virtually indestructible, or so they say. In fact, it's 250 times stronger than glass. Or so they say. I'm using it to make a safety box. Our next safety step will be to hold down the on switch using duct tape. Ah, much safer. I also need a handle extender so I can lower the saw from a safe distance. Then I had to take some very important measurements. This tape is wild. It's stickier than any tape I've used, and it's definitely harder to break than duct tape. Look at me struggling to cut off a piece. What I'm saying is, I will confidently put my life on the line if it's just this tape and Lexan that are the only things between me and the glass saw blade that will invariably explode, sending deadly shrapnel in all directions. Now that the box is completed and is probably nearly bulletproof, I need to make a way for me to use the saw. Who needs a water jet when you have an angle grinder and a burning desire to waste 45 minutes? Ah, hot. The angle grinder just got hot and flung molten Lexan on my arms. So I switched to another disc that I abused a while ago to hollow out a bowling ball. Now that the blast shield is ready, we better start using it. I need this. Sorry, fridge. Thank you, come again. All right, initial test. Does it fit? Oh no. Five eighths isn't a universal measurement. Come on now. I'm going to have to remove the material by hand and be very careful not to break the glass and give myself a pulmonary embolism. This diamond dremel bit should do the trick. If med school taught me anything, it's that you should always use your safety squints. All right. Yes. Uh, that ain't gonna work. The patented cardboard washer. Oh, that's definitely way too small. That's, ah, ah. There we go. Perfect. I don't see how this could fail. You have like a stitches kit here, right? <laughs> yes. All right, I'm a little terrified, but I think we're ready to go. We'll have. Little help, little help. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the eagle has landed. All right, according to my calculations, because I taped down the handle, it should turn on when I flip the switch. Let's do a quick test. Come on, man. Oh, there it goes, and it immediately broke. No way. 
split clean in half. Oh dear, that was that was successful. Well, how did that happen? It looks like it rotated a tiny bit and then it just split right in two. Well, uh, this is unfortunate to say the least. I wonder what caused that. It looks like our cardboard washers failed. Uh, what if we try it with no metal washers, only the rubber ones? Maximum energy absorption. I'm going to start over using laminated glass. Laminated glass is really tough. It's the same stuff used for windshields. Bulletproof glass is just lots of layers of laminated glass. So I don't want to brag or anything, but this new blade could most definitely not stop a bullet. You can see it's two layers, well, technically three, because there's a layer in the middle of polycarbonate or something. I'll put the real word on screen. This rubber is coming in handy in more ways than one. It is. We got it measuring just over 14. Oh, so is my girlfriend. All right. Please don't shatter. Ugh. Let me add them. Oh, tiny, tiny fracture. It looks like a black hole horizon. What, what does Neil deGrasse Tyson have to say about this? I think Einstein, in an Einsteinian answer, we would say gravity is the curvature of space and time. Oh, Neil, you have such an amazing way of saying so much, yet so little. Look how nice that looks. Like that's a that's a legit saw blade. Just see through. <laughs> it's not focusing. Almost had him. I made that. So even if it does break, it won't immediately break in two and not work. There was a tiny screw that might have caused the shattering problem the first time. So I put the rubber washer in and hoped and prayed it would protect the blade from the screw. I'm not a rapper though. Just barely not hitting it. So we'll see how it does with the rubber washer. All right, we're gonna use one metal washer on this side because we don't want it flying off. The rubber washers wouldn't actually prevent it from just coming off. See if turning it on works again. Ow. Holy moly, it done. It done blowed up. Ugh. It cut the wood. <laughs> no way. It's like vibrating. Oh, and then it flew off. Oh, there's a little ladybug on the container. No! I mean, technically it did cut the wood. That's hilarious. Oh my. Oh, that, oh, it broke the saw. Um, I'm not gonna mess with that right now because I like the way my hands don't have any cuts in them. All right, we're down to our last piece of glass. This is our final chance, so let's go back to the drawing board. I want to do everything I can to prevent this blade from shattering. We'll use three different strategies to help. First, I'm worried that the sharp teeth are causing stress concentrations in the blade, therefore making it shatter more easily. So we're gonna smooth out the teeth and go for a more abrasive approach. My ex-wife loved to use the same technique. And then connects itself again, is that correct? Yeah, that'll hopefully allow the poo to fling off. You know how much I love poo flinging. You do, you're a freaking monkey. That's almost there, let's do a little more. I like it, 36. Oh, nice. That's what we're looking for right there. A disaster has struck and cracked when we are putting the weight on. Looks like it's only in one layer. No, it's in both. It's really, really small though. <laughs> it's all right. Might break off. To illustrate the strength of the laminate in the middle, like you can completely bend this, but it's still attached from the laminate. And that's why they make windshields out of this. Oh. These teeth won't be very good at cutting though, so we'll have to add a special powdery substance. A little bit of resin. <laughs> And then we're gonna mix in a little secret something. I'll let past me introduce this. This is silicon carbide. It's what they make moissanite out of. So it's about as close to diamonds as you can get. And let's not forget it's luster and brilliance exceed that of a diamond as well. Imagine doing this for an hour. I didn't, but can you imagine if I did? 
Today I'm feeling like a little fairy, so I'm going to sprinkle a little extra magic dust around the outside. Also, let's use a bit of super glue and see if we can't salvage our first blade. Which segues me nicely into our second strategy on how to keep the blades from exploding, covering the entire surface with packing tape. I'm almost making my own laminated glass here, except the laminations are on the outside. And they're made out of crappy tape. We're gonna do it to the laminated blade too, which should help make this the strongest blade yet. Now onto our third and final strategy. We need to reduce the centrifugal forces acting on this blade. If I can reduce the speed of the blade, that should mean the blade will survive. Remember this Dremel from earlier? It has a handy foot pedal that works as a middleman between the motor and the power outlet. It makes it so you can choose how fast the tool rotates. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? If I plug the saw into the foot pedal, I should be able to control its speed. Unfortunately, however, if you will, the foot pedal doesn't have a ground prong but the saw does. Don't try this at home, kids. Try it at someone else's house. There we go. Grounder? I hardly know. Perfect. And now I'll just leave it on the ground. All right, here's the moment of truth. There's nothing on there. It shouldn't turn on. Okay. Now, it works. Time to test the super glue salvage blade one last time. Oh, man, I broke my white arm. Okay, so it exploded right away, which isn't surprising, but I learned a lot of useful information from this test that will help ensure that this final upcoming test is perfect. I thought for sure that tape was gonna hold it, especially with the super glue. Okay, what kind of damage do we got here? Got the blade in all sorts of pieces. The balsa has been damaged once again. Split in two. Yikes. Starting to think glass maybe isn't the best saw blade material. Uh, so I made a discovery. This doesn't actually make a difference. You'll notice it's either on or off. So I'm pushing down, nothing, nothing. And that's maxed out. But we got one more shot. We got the gritty blade. And I'm going to use the pedal to, to alternate it on and off. Call me ACDC, you know what I'm saying? All right, ladies and mostly gentlemen, the moment you've been waiting for. We put all of our strategies and everything we learned into this final piece of glass. We really need this to work. Can we do it? Kind of. We did it! Great success! Do mine eyes deceive me? Oh, look at that. When all hope was lost, the blade performed. How's it looking? There's all sorts of cracking. Oh, what is that? What? Was it rubbing somewhere? Oh yeah, it's rubbing on the screw right there. Is that what's been causing all these problems? I thought the rubber washer was preventing that. Guess not. Oh, because as it turns, it tightens more and it gets closer. Huh. For our first attempt at this, I'd call it a success. We learned some valuable things that we can apply to future saw blades. Our goal is to be able to cut a standard 2x4 with ease. Let us know if you've got any suggestions for us. Now go check out the first video where we made a saw blade out of wood. And boy howdy did we put that thing through the ringer. Now we just have some spicy clay. It only cuts you a little bit as you play with it. 